Is this traditional Czech? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. no? What is traditional Czech? I don't know. Have you heard of koláče? No. no? What is it? Koláče? Have you heard of it? No? It's a sweet? And if you watch this video, you will know where to find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trdelník stand. And we have them in Prague everywhere. And when I say everywhere, it's actually literal. From here up to the castle, it's about two miles and they are every hundred meters. There is a Trdelník stand, so you cannot miss it. What you might miss though, are the places we're about to show you today. And the first one just opened up and it is awesome. And it is traditional, unlike this. This place is really hidden between a Thai massage car and a giant traffic sign that you can't see over to the spot. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is a kolach, something you would probably call a pie, but no, it's a traditional Czech kolach. Now, if you were living in the myth that Trdelník is something traditional Czech, it is not. And there are 17 different stands just on this one street that goes up to the Prague Castle, stands that sell Trdelník, but only one brand new one that sells you kolache. That's why we're super excited about it. It was just recently opened. They not only make the traditional sweet kolaches that we know from our grandmothers because they used to make them because it's traditional, but the owner was actually in the United States and he noticed that Czech immigrants are making kolache, not only the sweet version, but also salty version uh, with like jalapenos and cheese. So he decided to bring that Texas edition here to Prague. So if you're a foreigner, try the Czech kolache but we told the Czechs to try the American uh, Texas collage. This place is right on the Royal Way of Prague, uh, facing the beautiful Cubist house, Cubist building that you will come to admire here. So make sure to stop in for a collage and a coffee. We're super excited a place like this opened up. So you're a taxi car collage? Yes, we drive collage from the pekárny to collage area to the whole world. No, it's more like pizza. This is so good. If people eating the Tadelni would know how this is good, they would never eat the Tadelni. I mean, I'm happy I tasted the Texas version, but this is the beast. This is the love. This is the Czech tradition. This is, oh, this is everything. This is pure joy. Texas, okay, but Czech collage. This kolače place uh, just recently opened up and the next place I'm gonna show you is uh, not new, but I recently discovered it. I took a right turn from the main path where all the people are into this hidden little courtyard. This is a theater on the street Zaletna, but uh, obviously you can see that it's not only a theater, but also a coffee place, a coffee spot. And I thought that coffee places that are attached to theaters only open just prior to the uh, play that is about to happen. But no, this place is actually opened all day long, so you can come in anytime. And I knew of its existence because whenever I chase scammers through this alley, I always looked up and I'm like, oh, it says coffee and beer, I've never been there. Uh, so one day I took the courage to go up the stairs uh, and discover this absolutely amazing uh, spot that you can discover as well. That's my favorite spot, so don't sit on it uh, and have some coffee or go see a play. Unfortunately, they are only in Czech, not in English. Uh, but by now you should know Czech from all our videos with the Czech words at the end. You're fluent. And they serve coffee in these uh, shot glasses. I kind of like that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the coolest, most hidden rooftop restaurants in Prague. And I never knew of its existence uh, until I was standing up there at the castle, looking down at the rooftops, and I noticed a bunch of chairs and tables. I was like, is that open to public? Is that a restaurant? And yes, it is. The entrance is from the street Nerudova, the street that goes up to the castle. And if you find the most disgustingly looking shop there is on the street, right next to it is a tiny little entrance to this place. You walk up the stairs and you get to vegans. Uh, we just ordered some traditional Czech food, so let's try it. 
and our meals arrived just in time. If you're wondering why we're not eating outside, well, it's still a bit chilly, uh, but we got the Czech classics here in the vegan edition. Uh, Hansa got a svíčková with dumplings and I got the goulash with dumplings. Uh, I also had a soup, which was absolutely delicious. And if you don't trust me on my judgment of quality of food, I can tell you that William Defoe and also Ricky Gervais were both in this restaurant and they both enjoyed the meal. So, bon appétit. Yes, you can tell it's not meat, but I don't think we're here because of me. We're here for great food and a great view and great service. Dobrý den. Just another pub where you're gonna show me to have a beer? Well, this is not just another pub. We are next to the St. Vitas Cathedral, the largest cathedral there is in our country. Uh, we're inside of the Prague Castle complex, and this place was always here. My parents would always tell me about it, but it's been shut down for the past 10 years. It went through a reconstruction, so it's brand new. It looks very good, and they serve dishes, and they serve, obviously, the Czech treasure, which would be the beer. If you come here later in the afternoon, watch out, they're only open till six, but there will be uh, very little tourists and it's, it's almost like a hidden gem, but you're at the most visited attraction there is in our country. My foam is falling down, Honza. It's time to hit the glass and drink. I never had beer here and it's pretty epic. I hope you like the places we showed you. I hope you will save them into your map so when you come to Prague, you will visit them. In case of the first one and the last one, most likely you'll be a trendsetter. So let us know in the comments uh, if the places are worth a visit, not only for you, but also for the future visitor. While you're down there, you can give us a thumbs up or a subscribe, and I'll see you next week on The Honest Guide. Well, you do know The Honest Guide, but did you know we have another channel called Like a Local where we just uploaded a new video? Uh, so go check it out. It's those little small tips to tourists coming to Prague. That's what Honest Guide was all about in the beginnings. And some of our longtime subscribers said, we want more of those videos. So we will make them, I promise. Go check it out and let us know if that's what you were asking for. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a Czech word, uh, how to say tap, which is where the beer comes from in a pub. Well, that's pipa, spelled P-I-P-A. Pipa is uh, the tap. You have to admit, this is a pretty epic rooftop restaurant.